Okay, I'm going to give you a crash course in formatting borders and adding some color to a spreadsheet. Okay, I have my spreadsheet here, lovely spreadsheet about children and their age. I'm going to use that to illustrate what we need to do. First thing I'm going to talk about is color. First rule, guys, I know you want to format your spreadsheet and make it look like, you know, red, gold, green colors and, you know, pizzazz it out and all of that. Please remember this, a professional business spreadsheet has soft colors, maybe a maximum of two, or in the worst case scenario, three. Nothing with colors here, there and everywhere, red, pink, blue, black, you know, violet, indigo, whatever. No, you do not do that. To add some color, you use the fill tool. So let me say I'm going to fill in children's age, the different color, which is the title, I want a soft color, something that's easy on the eyes. There we go. Okay, I'm using the fill tool for this. I am now going to select the sections and I'm going to choose another soft color, maybe a light blue. Um, yes. Okay. All right. I can do the same here for boys. I can fill it maybe a light blue color. For girls, maybe I could fill it with a light brown color. Okay, and I could do the same here as well. But I'll, since we started, I'll just concentrate on this section. So, guys, I'm talking about filling things with color. That is how you do it. Now, I'm going to talk about formatting the borders of the cell. Okay, each cell has a border. There are different ways of doing this. You could select the cells, you could go and click on the border tool, and you will have lots of options in here. You can choose just for a top border. Just for the left border, right border, you can choose no borders at all if you wanted. You can choose all borders or you can choose just the outside borders or a thick box border. If I choose thick box, this is what is going to happen. As you can see, I have a thick box border around my, the, my, my, um, my area that I've entered information. Or I could actually just highlight it and go and select all borders. Okay, And I will have all the borders around my cells highlighted. I'll do the same here. Okay, so I have it all highlighted as well. And I'll choose all borders and that's another way of doing it. Another way of doing it is you can actually select your cells and you can move to this side. If you go to cell styles, there are different accents here that you can, okay, choose. You can choose lots. Okay, you can choose whichever pre-formatted style that you want. So you could go for this um, light purpley color. Or again, if you select a cell area, again, and you move to format as table, click and get a drop down box, you will have loads of different cells to choose from. Okay, so if I choose this one, I get the format as table option box. I just click on OK. And you will have the formatting that you chose. It's obviously not appropriate because I can't see it. So I can go back again, go format as table, choose something medium, click on OK. And this is another way of formatting the cell, OK, with the drop down menus and the filter tools. You don't really need that, but if you want to, you can keep it as it is. But the whole point is this, guys. You need to format with color, which is what I've shown you. You need to format the cells and the borders. You can use your own formatting using the border tool, or you can actually use the cell styles option or the format as table option. It's entirely up to you. You decide what you want to use. Now please go and do it now. Thank you.